Yeah, 2020 was a crazy one. So in 2020, we found a new way of sort of communicating, living. We've seen lots of businesses going down, but also we've seen a lot of digital transformations. So definitely a lot has happened. After speaking to many and many membership organizations, I've concluded the majority of them have somehow adapted to the new now, so to say, and they've managed to survive. So they continued business as usual, which is great news. So now in 2021, we're thinking about what's going to happen, what do we need to plan for, but it's a time where everything is uncertain. So it's going to be very hard to predict any digital trends in 2021. But so far, I came up with three potential trends that we could follow in 2021. First one, a stronger focus on membership lifetime value. Getting new members is always going to be our job. However, getting more or focusing more on the existing members is something where we could further add value and explore this opportunity. Sadly, many membership organizations are one dimensional these days. And what it means is that they're looking to just sell membership access without truly looking into challenges and problems that their members are having. So if we take a look at those, I'm pretty sure we will be able to spot opportunities and further our revenue. So hopefully this helps you with the upsell and cross sell. Number two, emergence of headless CMS. Headless CMS can help membership organizations with content marketing, especially if you're publishing content on your website or maybe intranet, member zones, knowledge base portals, and so on. In essence, Headless allows large membership teams to collaborate better on their content, but also efficiently publish those same pieces of content and all of that in order to serve their members' needs. And number three, personalization. We've all been talking about personalization for quite a while now. And given the continued investment that we had in digital, especially in 2020, I'm pretty sure that membership organizations will take personalization on board this year. COVID has been a catalyst in bringing forward a digital transformation and data usually plays a big role in it. And then as data becomes more accessible to marketers, the actual task of personalization becomes more achievable. So let's see, will these three make it in your plans for 2021?